So as we saw in the previous exercise, if you are going to call a function, like say print, you say print and parenthesis parenthesis, and then you pass inside whatever you want to print or whatever you want that function to use. Let's, if I say hello, I'm passing the string hello to it, so it's printing hello. But when you want to define a function, instead of instead of just calling it like that, you will say def for define, and then instead of passing hello, you're gonna pass an, a, a variable that you can pick the name right there. Like you can say uh, value, and then you put the colon and you press enter and you indent. Whatever you do here, it's gonna be part of this function scope, so it's gonna remain within the function, it's going to execute when the function is called. So we don't want to define print because print is a reserved word in Python. Let's see the instructions. It's saying instructions, please now create a function called generate random. So instead of being called print, I want to generate random that prints and returns a random number between 0 and 9. So we don't have to pass any parameters, I guess, because it's not saying here that it receives any input from the user. Every time it's called so a random number between between zero and nine. So for that we have like if we want to declare this number, we could say random dot run int. Run int is a good function because as you can see here, it, it returns a random integer in the range between a and b. So a and b is what is being passed to run int in at the beginning. So run int I I should pass here zero and nine because it has to be a num the number has to be between 0 and 9. So give me a random integer between 0 and 9 and put it in the variable r. And then I have to print it. So print r. And then I also have to return it because that's what it's saying there. Return r. Uh, r, not 7. So yeah, we are doing the three, the three things here. And here at the top in the, in the definition, you had the same expression that I just said about random.runint. So let's test it. Yeah, success. If you test it with compile, it will probably not do, not show anything on the console look because you have to call it, remember. So you say, you have to say generate random because if you don't say it, no one is calling it, so it will never execute. So you have to call it yourself at least. There it is, it's printing zero. If I run it again, it prints zero and, and three and eight and zero and six. Okay, and if you test it, it passes.